Welcome to our exploration of Koshai the Deathless, a central figure in Slavic mythology. We'll uncover his immortality, key tales, and symbolic significance in understanding life, death, and human nature within the context of Slavic culture, particularly in medieval Eastern Europe. Our journey begins with an overview of Koshai's role in Slavic folklore and its connection to the agricultural way of life. Koshai the Deathless, a skeletal figure in Slavic folklore, embodies the eternal struggle between life and death. His immortality, hidden within nested objects, represents the complexity of human existence. In The Death of Koshai the Deathless, a tale popular in regions like Novgorod and Kiev, heroes face formidable challenges to defeat him, symbolizing the quest to overcome mortality. Koshai's paradoxical nature, undying yet skeletal, reflects deep-rooted Slavic beliefs about the cycle of life and the human desire for eternal existence. These concepts were shaped by the harsh realities of agricultural life in Eastern Europe, where survival often hinged on overcoming winter's grip. East Slavic tribes cultivated hardy crops like rye and barley, which could withstand the severe climate, mirroring the resilience embodied in Koshai's tales. This agricultural context provides a tangible link between mythology and daily life in Slavic culture. As we delve deeper into Koshai's mythology, we'll explore the intricate symbolism of his hidden soul. Koshai's soul, hidden within nested objects, embodies Slavic beliefs about life's complexity. In the version prevalent in the Vladimir Suzdal region, his soul is concealed within an egg, inside a duck, within a hare, locked in an iron chest, buried under an oak tree on the island of Buyan. Each object symbolizes aspects of existence. The egg represents fertility and new beginnings. The duck signifies adaptability and connection to water. The hair embodies agility and rebirth. The iron chest denotes protection and craftsmanship, while the oak tree symbolizes strength and longevity in Slavic culture. This intricate concealment creates vulnerability, offering heroes a specific path to defeat Koshai. The external soul concept reflects deeper cultural ideas about the separation of essence from physical form, illustrating the fragile nature of immortality itself. This concept resonates with Slavic shamanistic traditions, where the soul was believed to journey outside the body during rituals, a practice documented in early Slavic chronicles and similar to soul concepts in neighboring Baltic mythologies. The complexity of Koshai's soul leads us to examine how his character interacts with other figures in Slavic mythology, particularly in the tale of Maria Morevna. The tale of Maria Morevna, a warrior princess of Slavic lore, intertwines with Koshe's story, showcasing the complex nature of heroism in Slavic mythology. Maria captivates Ivan Sarovich with her strength and wisdom, leading to their marriage. However, their seemingly idyllic union harbors a secret, a forbidden chamber that beckons Ivan's curiosity. His fateful decision to enter unveils a weakened Koshai, captured by Maria's prowess. Ivan's subsequent choice to free Koshai, driven by misplaced compassion, sets in motion a perilous journey. This narrative, popular in Russian folklore, particularly in the Ryazan and Tver regions, reflects the cultural value placed on both strength and mercy traits often tested in the harsh Eastern European environment. The tale mirrors the delicate balance of power and compassion necessary in Slavic societies, where communal survival in challenging agricultural conditions depended on both individual strength and collective empathy. This story exemplifies how Slavic mythology often blended moral lessons with fantastical elements to convey important societal values. The consequences of Ivan's actions lead us to explore his subsequent quest to reclaim his love from Koshai. Ivan's relentless pursuit of Koshai to reclaim his love demonstrates the hero's journey in Slavic mythology. Despite being repeatedly outwitted, Ivan, armed with magical aids, matches Koshai's supernatural abilities. His brothers-in-law, Falcon, Eagle, and Raven, represent nature's alliance with humanity, granting Ivan the power to chase the shape-shifting Koshai. This conflict symbolizes the eternal struggle between good and evil. The repetitive nature of this chase echoes the cyclical view of time and Slavic pagan beliefs, which were closely tied to the agricultural calendar and the changing seasons. This concept was particularly prominent in the rituals of the Kievan Rus, 
where seasonal festivals like Maslanitsa marked crucial points in the agricultural year, celebrating the transition from winter to spring. The festival involved burning straw effigies, symbolizing the defeat of winter, much like Ivan's repeated confrontations with Koshai, represent cyclical victories over adversity. The cyclical nature of Ivan's battles with Koshai mirrors the agricultural cycles that were central to Slavic life. Koshai's resurrections symbolize winter's relentless return in Slavic mythology, a concept deeply rooted in the agricultural societies of Eastern Europe. His cyclical nature embodies the eternal struggle between life and death, mirroring the harsh seasons. Ivan's victories over Koshai, aided by magical forces, represent humanity's resilience against nature's challenges. This tale illustrates the Slavic belief in balance, emphasizing that life's triumphs, though significant, are often temporary. The story reflects the agricultural cycle that was central to Slavic life, particularly evident in the harvest rituals of the East Slavic tribes. The festival of Dojinki celebrating the end of harvest marked a temporary victory over the hardships of nature, much like Ivan's triumphs over Koshai, while acknowledging the inevitable return of winter's challenges. This festival involved weaving the last sheaf of grain into a wreath, symbolizing the cycle of life and death, paralleling the cyclical nature of Koshai's defeats and resurrections. The intricate relationship between Koshai, Ivan, and the natural world leads us to examine the deeper symbolism in their conflict. Prince Ivan's quest to save his wife from Koshai reveals the intricacies of Slavic mythology and its reflection of societal values. Koshai's hidden soul, a cornerstone of his immortality, embodies the separation of essence from physical form in Slavic beliefs. This concept was particularly significant in a culture where the spiritual and physical worlds were seen as closely intertwined, as evidenced by the practices of Volkvi, Slavic pagan priests. The tale exemplifies the hero's journey against seemingly insurmountable odds, intertwining themes of love, bravery, and the eternal struggle between good and evil. It reflects humanity's complex relationship with mortality and the lengths one might go to for love, themes that resonated deeply in Slavic society where family bonds were paramount, especially in the face of harsh environmental conditions. This emphasis on familial loyalty and sacrifice is also seen in neighboring Norse mythology, though expressed through different narrative structures, highlighting the unique cultural perspective of Slavic folklore. The ultimate defeat of Koshai in these tales provides further insight into Slavic cultural values. The defeat of Koshai across various tales shares common elements that provide insight into Slavic cultural values. The egg, representative of life's fragility, was invariably broken to end Koshai's immortality. This destruction demonstrates that cunning and perseverance can overcome monstrous strength. The hero's triumph over Koshai symbolizes humanity's eternal struggle against death and winter, reflecting Slavic beliefs about mortality's cyclical nature. These tales emphasize moral virtue as crucial in confronting immortality, illustrating deeper cultural values and worldviews shaped by the harsh realities of life in medieval Eastern Europe. In regions like Novgorod and Pskov, where survival often depended on community cooperation and individual resilience, these stories served as moral guideposts. The emphasis on communal values in overcoming supernatural threats is a theme shared with other Eastern European folklores, illustrating a broader cultural pattern in the region. To fully appreciate Koshai's significance, it's valuable to compare him to similar figures in other mythologies. Comparing Koshai to similar figures in other mythologies, such as Kronos in Greek mythology and Baylor in Celtic lore, reveals universal themes of immortality and death. However, Koschai's unique role in Slavic seasonal mythology sets him apart, embodying winter's relentless grip on nature. This distinctive aspect of Koschai has profoundly shaped Slavic folklore, symbolizing human fears and desires related to mortality and the eternal cycle of life and death. His character is particularly significant in the context of the challenging Eastern European climate, where winter's harshness directly impacted daily life and survival. Along the Dnieper and Volga rivers, Slavic communities practiced elaborate winter rituals like the burning of the Morena effigy, symbolizing the death of winter. 
which parallels the cyclical defeat of Koshai in folklore. These rituals often involved intricate processions and the creation of straw or wooden effigies, demonstrating the deep connection between mythology and practical seasonal observances in Slavic culture. In conclusion, let's reflect on the overall significance of Koshai in Slavic mythology and culture. Koshai's paradoxical nature embodies Slavic mythology's complexity, reflecting the multifaceted worldview of ancient Slavic peoples. As death's personification, he represents winter's harshness, yet symbolizes life's continuity through his immortality. His fearsome presence challenges heroes, reflecting human resilience against adversity. Koshai's cyclical appearance in folklore mirrors seasonal changes and the eternal struggle between life and death, concepts deeply rooted in Slavic agricultural and spiritual beliefs. This duality makes him a pivotal figure in understanding Slavic cultural perspectives on mortality and perseverance, offering insights into the relationship between ancient Slavic peoples and the natural world that shaped their existence. The cultivation of crops like wheat and flax, central to East Slavic agriculture, required a delicate balance of timing and technique, much like the intricate strategies needed to defeat Koshai. This parallel illustrates the profound connection between mythology and daily life in Slavic culture, where agricultural practices and spiritual beliefs were inextricably linked, forming a cohesive worldview that guided both practical and philosophical aspects of Slavic society.